Hello and welcome to Newcastle University Business School's podcast series for Women's Entrepreneurship Week. My name is Nicola Patterson and I'm a senior lecturer in Leadership Development Organisation Futures team here at the Business School. I'm joined today by Xu Liu and Waiting Huang from Busy Backpacks. Hi, thanks for joining us. Mm, hi. Hi, thank you Nicola for the introduction. Uh, well, I would just like you, I was going to ask um, Shu and yourself, Ting, to introduce yourself and the, and your business and just tell us a little bit about what Busy Backpacks does. Um, so my name is Wei Ting Huang and um, uh, I grew up in Shenzhen and then me and Shu Yu was um, classmates um, at the Newcastle Business School. We get graduated from um, arts, business and creativity program. And then um, so we s decided to start a business called Busy Backpack, which is a um, student information platform to help international students uh, to get info with cool activities. Yeah, and I'm Shi Liu and as Wei-Ting mentioned, we have met in the university and we learned a lot of uh, knowledge about entrepreneurship and then we um, start up our own business because as an international student, we all feel a little boring and when study in, in the university and not we want to know more about local, about Britain culture. So that's why we try to promote more local business and the local culture to the international students. So that's why we set up the platform. Yeah. yeah. So what was it about um, setting th this business up um, yourself and becoming um, self-employed, you know, obviously some students ordinarily might look at being employed. What was it, what was the draw for you to set up your own business and to do it together actually? Mm, I think initially it was the challenges. Um, we, both of us, um, noticed um, we had uh, quite a lot of culture kind of barriers with the local society like communities but uh, we develop some skills and also we make some friends with the local communities and we feel like it's a shame we don't share this with everyone so what do you think Shi Yu? yeah <laughs> and because we we also mm, make the market research and all the students they want to go out they want to know what happened what, what is happening and but they don't know how to find some events they don't know and they are afraid afraid of their language there are a lot of things they don't know each other in a in a new area so we just want to try to make all the international students to to be more brave to go out and and how does busy backpacks achieve that how do you help and give people international students in particular the confidence to do that yeah at the beginning we also um, host uh, some events for the students and we invite some um, local artists singer or any other creative people to make speech or make performance and the students they would like to very would like to join in yeah and now we we want to provide more information because our power to and host the uh, events is very limited and only in Newcastle. So we want to scale up. Yeah. Yeah. So look into doing, having a similar model elsewhere in the UK or? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, the series, the podcast series for Women's Entrepreneurship Week 
is themed around inspiration and celebrating i would really like to to hear about you know what what or who inspires you in your business well first of all of course the program because um, our um that uh, the teachers professors um in the class they always encourage us to you know um to do the thing we really think we need to do and without their encouragement we cannot um do the first step and then also the universities because um, as international students we need a visa it's a practical thing but it's a, a lot of challenges to overcome to really get a visa first and surprisingly um, the our professor, a prof a professor said we were the first team as international student get, uh, has have got the visa to start a business. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, after the program. So we were very honored and very um, happy we got the opportunities. And also I think is mm, my parents and they also encouraged me to do that and even there's a lot of unknown and then I think also the Newcastle Entrepreneur Society, the community, um, everyone built together and we always inspire each other to do amazing things. Yeah, for me, it's, it's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and I agree that um, we learn a lot about how to change an idea to the business. And at the beginning of our master year, I think I, I don't have any thought about start up a business, but after a year study, I think I know how to make it. And we also have a, on the internet there are a lot of information about the how to um, study in the UK how to uh, live here but it's very little about the culture but I think the culture is the most important thing that we don't have yeah, yeah the cultural barrier is the the most important things, I think. I mean, given w what you've said in terms of you were the first group that graduated from the degree program to then go on and set up a business, um, I think we can safely say you've got some, I'm sure you've got some pearls of wisdom that you could share with perhaps other listeners who are currently studying in perhaps the same program or a different program. What advice would you give those other students who were maybe thinking about setting up their own business? Um, um, to clarify, is uh, the first group international students, not everyone. But um, I think for everyone, advice to set up a business, I think is really um, take, be brave, and really um, take action. Because entrepreneurs. Um, is more focused on action than thinking. So if you think about it and you must do it and to exam, to test if it's valid, valid the idea and then you can make changes. So second advice is you have to adapt and listen to people around you and make changes um, quickly. But also the last advice is uh, remember to stop and because as an entrepreneur, you have a very stressful life <laughs> <laughs> and you have to learn how to um, give yourself some time to relax and reflect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that reflection piece is um, really important w w within a lot of our programs in terms of thinking about leadership and um, understanding yourself and where you might go. So what are the things that you've been reflecting on more recently in relation to your business? What have you been thinking about? 
I think is the business model because.、Um, For example, as、um, Shi Yu mentioned, when we first started the business, we wanted to organize events by ourselves. But、uh, by the, you know,、um, when the time,、um, you know,、uh, came along, and then we thought it's better to have a digital platform to promote the local events instead of organizing just by ourselves, and it will be more. Um, more options, more choices for students, and now we need to think about, like, to adapt, like maybe membership model or another model to make it more sustainable. So, and also the world change is changing very fast, and our target、um, customers are international students and and. Especially Chinese. So、um, after I went back to China for a few weeks, and I felt like、uh, China is moving very fast, and young people they have different thoughts, they like different things, and so we need to think about a different way to market our platform and also the content to really suit what they like. Yeah.、Great. My final question is、um, really to end on that celebration point of the the theme for Women Entrepreneurship Week, and just to ask you, what is the achievement that you're most proud of since setting up the business? And、um, for me, I think we、um, we built a community online and among the Chinese students, and yeah, I think we can we are passionate about. Providing information to them, and we also very proud of that. We really give them some cultural information, and、uh, the feedback from them is very great and very appreciate us. Yeah, yeah.、So、really building that community. Yeah. yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, I think. Uh, it will be the same for me. The community really make busy backpack, and also us as founders,、um, being valuable and be very,、um, you know,、um, appreciate them, and they appreciate us. So is is the most important thing, the core of busy backpack, the community, and also for myself, I think、uh, the most thing I'm proud of is. If I'm not、um, taking the decision to be an entrepreneur, I could never be the like me at now. Like you know,、um, I cannot be me、uh, like、uh, like today. So it's it's really、um, it's a very very、um, inspiring journey as an entrepreneur. So I hope everyone, you know, one day can take the. Encouragement to do this. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure as well.、Um, hearing your story and、um, you know, kind of a different perspective. You're, in, you're coming from as an international student to to the city in the region to start up in business. That's great. Thank you very much for、Thank、sharing you. your story and your experiences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.